one of the devices at the um, at Mill Hill, which I had to look after, and it always makes me smile because I I was entrusted to look after the uh, Cobalt 60 source at the NIMR as far as repairs and maintenance and modifications were concerned, and um, and spent quite a considerable time doing that in the early days. And um, so I can I can remember one weekend uh, when we had to do a complete strip down, and that was largely the work of my colleague Roger Hooper, but we we had the huge privilege of um, uh, having the original designer of the mechanics come over from Canada and we spent the entire weekend with him and to see this elderly gentleman as he was then lovingly um, helping us restore this, uh, this mechanics was really quite a joy. My point about this is that um, I got quite involved with this device and had to do quite a bit of maintenance on it and that was to, to give you a feel for the change in technology that was largely an electromechanical device um, there was very little electronics involved in that um, the most of the logic in that was to do with relays and um, all the problems that are associated with relay contacts etc 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 we had to do um, a full health and safety test on that and so we had to build test rigs for all those relays to find out what happened if so and so etc etc and that was that was quite a challenge to me nowadays of course um, the the devices which are used for irradiating food and, and animals nowadays would be run by a small computer um, the, there would be no electromechanical devices involved in that because of the, the, the sheer failure rate of those things. Um, and so from when I started there, we had valve testers, um, uh, electromechanical devices and relays, to when I left, a lot of the stuff which was being done in an analogue way was now being done on the computer. So you could, you know, there, there was no need for... Um, chart paper or anything anymore because all those things were simply on screens. You, you, it was a, um, a, a total change throughout that 30 years. Um, when I started there, there were monitoring devices on cold rooms and hot rooms which were circular bar charts, and uh, circular graphs, I'm sure you can remember those. And nowadays the, um, there would be none of that, it would be centrally logged and would be coming up on a computer somewhere in some maintenance office somewhere. And so uh, I, I think that's a huge change that's taken place in my, in my career. And of course you do away with a lot of that electromechanical device which has all the problems of movement and with it consequentially the failure rate which is much higher. Um, that doesn't say that the technology wasn't beautiful, it was. But you know, none of us nowadays rely on mechanical clocks. We have devices which are solid state.